title. Uh, Nelson and Wright redesign in 1990. Uh, sorry, it's an original Nelson and Wright 1992 design, but Parslow redesigned it in 2007. A very short sub 7,000 yard par 72. Paspulum greens, okay? So quite pure the greens. Uh, Lee Westwood won here at 10 to 1 last year. Kiradesh Afib Barnrat 50 to 1 in 13. Louis Oosthuizen straight after the Masters at 12 to 1, and that's the whole point. Westwood and Oosthuizen, they both came out here directly the week after Augusta and got the job done at very short prices. Matteo, we've obviously the tournament's now moved. Matteo Manassero was 28 to 1 in 2010. Sung Il No 70 to 1. Uh, sorry, Manasero's 2011 and Sung Yul No 2010 70 to 1. This is who Paul has gone for, all of his reasoning at Golf Betting System. Thomas Aiken, two points each way, it's 50 to 1 with Coral hitting greens and fairways for uh, as if it's going out of fashion. A decent player out on these pasculum type Bermuda greens. Tyrrell Hatton. A lot of the players that have won here in the past, it's been their maiden Peter European Tour of victory. Tyrrell Hatton, very, very talented. A point each way, 85 to 1 with Stan James for Tyrrell Hatton. Two more for you. If you're looking for a horse for a course, you have to have Kiradesh Afibanrat on, on board. A point each way, 50 to 1 with Bet365. And finally, an absolute Bermuda, uh, Bermuda grass green monster. Anders Hansen, who just started to show a few inklings last week out in Dubai. Anders Hansen, a point each way, 80 to 1 with Bet365 on Anders Hansen. Loves Bermuda grass greens and can go very, very low and plays really well in these kind of tropical conditions. So Anders Hansen, a point each way, 80 to 1 with Bet365. You've got Afi Barnrat, a point each way, 50 to 1 with Bet365. Tyrrell Hatton, a point each way, 85 to 1 with Stan James. Finally, Thomas Aiken, two points each way, 50 to 1 with Coral for the South African. Interesting to point out Coral at the moment. Um, used to be a bit of a laughing stock, I have to be honest, when it comes came to golf betting, but their new golf guarantee is well worth checking out. You can effectively bet either five places each way, or you can choose to bet six places each way with Coral. Now, that's an interesting development. No other bookmaker gives you the choice. They also do a uh, enhanced winners-only market, so they're now challenging Stan James, the only two to do that. And if you like in-play betting, they cover off the top five, the top ten, and the outright market throughout the whole tournament. So their golf guarantee, really worth checking out. Coral at the moment, their golf betting, uh, they, their whole proposition has really stepped up to the mark. So, let me take you through the predictor model for um, the Torrey Pines event that's obviously taking place this week. Interesting markets. I mean, you, I have to be honest, the, the uh, bookmakers really have throttled down on the value this week. Top 10, Charles Howell III, 125 to 1 with Coral. Worth pointing out that Paddy Power are six places each way this week. And of course, if you open up an account or have an account with Coral, you can go six places each way anyway with them. Uh, Charles Howell, yes, 125 to 1 with Coral. These that plot prices, the prices we quote on the predictor model are the ones that are five each way. Nine is Branch Snedeker, an absolute horse for a course. Snedeker, 28 to 1 with Stan James, top 10 last week. Hideki Matsuama, who came very close to delivering a very nice win for us last week, 20 to 1 with Coral. Bill Haas, 33 to 1 with Coral at 7. 6, Phil Mickelson, 33 to 1 with Coral at 6. 5, Tiger Woods, 50 to 1 with Paddy Power. You can get 66s with Stan James. Four, Justin Rose, 25 to 1 with Sky Bet. Three, Justin Thomas, the very impressive rookie, 35 to 1 with Sky Bet. Never won a PGA Tour event, 35 to 1 is all you're going to get. Uh, two, Dustin Johnson making his uh, re. Well, he's coming back out uh, from his six month absence on the PGA Tour, 35 to 1 with Bet365. And number one, Jimmy Walker, 16 to 1 for the West Coast expert who's just winning tournaments out in California and out in uh, out in Hawaii for fun at the moment. So Walker, Johnson, Thomas, Rhodes and Woods make up the top 10. OK, the guys I'm going for this week, I'm going for the following five players. For me, 
It's an interesting tournament, this. Guys with red-hot form traditionally don't get the job done here. Um, it does help if you've got top tens around the golf course. There's absolutely no doubt about that. But Scott Stallings blew that into uh, into the weeds last year where he had two appearances prior to the uh, to arriving at La Jolla, San Diego, effectively. Two missed cuts from two appearances and he actually won the golf tournament 250 to 1. Top tens, though, it does tend to be a very specialised event. So... Um, those prices that you can see there, you know, 16 to 1 on Walker, 25, uh, sorry, 33 to 1 on Mickelson, who's badly out of form. Bill Hass at 33 to 1, Matsuyama at 20 to 1. These are guys that have got appearances there. They've got top 10s. In Matsuyama's case, of top 15, he's in red hot form. 28 to 1 with Seneca's kind of attractive in a in a very very um, tight market value wise. Jason Day 14 to 1 at number 11 in the predictor model. And, and uh, obviously, just uh, Jordan Speed, 12 to 1 with Paddy Power. Don't forget Day and Jordan Speed. I'll, I'll come to regret this, no doubt, but those guys between the two of them have only ever won two stroke play events on the PGA Tour. Interesting, but true. So, red hot form, not necessarily the case here. I do like players, though, that played the previous week. They don't have to have played well. I mean, Scott Stallings was 58th at Humana before he came here. Bubba Watson missed the cut. Brant Schnedeker did finish in the top 10 at Humana the year before he won here at 25 to 1. But, you know, just playing tends to be the, the really the important part. And in this course, it has to be said as well, this tournament churns out year after year after year after year American winners. So I'm going Ricky Fowler, 1.5 points each way, 28 to 1 with Stan James. I'm also Gary going uh, Gary Woodland, a point each way, 40 to 1 with Betfair. We were on him last week, horribly missed the cut. But I always say, and I've got some notes here, one bad performance doesn't mean a reason to exclude the following week. Woodland uh, should have won here really last year. Uh, a point each way, 40 to 1 with Betfair Sports, but I like the look of Gary Woodland this week. Another player who hasn't got top 10s here, probably should have, but he's got three top 25s in four appearances, and a guy that we know plays well on very long and also very technical golf courses, and that's what you're going to find with Torrey Pines this week. The, the tournament is played over the South Course and the North Course. Three rounds on the world-famous South Course that's hosted the US Open. But the North Course, really, really critical. critical rather. Players have to shoot 67, 66 around that course to really get into contention and then hang on for grim life around the rest of the, the, the other 54 holes. It's a tough, it's a technical test. The uh, course conditions on the South Course are always fast, they're always firm, very long tree-lined uh, holes. Uh, it's the longest golf course on the PGA Tour. And the rough, three, three and a half, e even four inches of rough. They reseeded the rough prior to 20 or last year's renewal. So, you know, get keeping it on the fairway can be a real advantage. But you've got to be pretty long off the tee. That's why I like Woodland this week. But, going back to my third tip, Keegan Bradley for me, a point each way, 50 to 1 with Paddy Power, six places each way. Just You get the feeling that Bradley really needs a win, as does Ricky Fowler. Guys that want to win need to win. I think a, a, a real um, guys you really want to be focusing on this week rather than guys that enter here with hot form. That's my opinion anyway. Uh, and then three at very uh, or at longer prices. Really like the look of all three of these. Cameron Tringali, half a point each way at 125 to 1 with Paddy Power. You might remember him second at the Barclays tournament in the FedEx Cup playoffs last year. Tringali, one of those guys, loves technical golf courses and loves the old classical style. He's been playing atrociously really recently. Saying that, he actually won the Shark shootout with Jason Day in December. So, you know... First ever professional victory, I believe, for Cam Tringali, that one. Half a point each way, 125 to 1 with Paddy Power. Sang Moon Bay played brilliantly, didn't he? Latter end of last season. Played well at Kapalua so, uh, at, uh, in 2015 already. Sang Moon Bay, half a point each way at Paddy Power. Um, 
Uh, sorry, 110 um, to 1 with Bet365 for Sang Moon Bay. And also, this price really did grab me. Brian Harmon, half a point each way, 150 to 1 with Boyle Sports. He won on Bent Grass Greens last year at the jo uh, John Deere Classic. But if you look through his resume, very, very good on technical, t low or high scoring um, tournaments. So. Brian Harmon, half a point each way, 150 to 1 with Boyle Sports. Sang Moon Bay, half a point each way, 110 to 1 with Bet365. Both winners on Bentgrass Greens last season. Cameron Tringali, half a point each way, 125 to 1 with Paddy Power. And then Bradley, a point each way, 50 to 1 with Paddy Power. Gary Woodland, a point each way, 40 to 1 with Betfair. And also Ricky Fowler, one and a half points each way, 28 to 1 with Stan James. Thanks for watching this week. I will see you again next week. Goodbye.